<laughs> Hello, world, and welcome to the Pope. See, today our juice is going to be a little mosh pit of random things. What do you got for us today, Grayson? We're going to start off by talking about the deep blue ocean. Uh, ocean? Ah. <laughs> the deep blue ocean. Well, hello, I'm uh, Gabe. I'm on the podcast today. We're followed by. What's up, guys? Donnie here. So, the ocean, the great old deep blue, mysterious. So many creatures living within it. A lot like of your mom. I was going to say your mom. Like, I your mom. She has swam in there before, yes. Yeah. Because it's like she's beautiful like a mermaid. Not because she's big like a whale. Whales are beautiful, too. She's also blue like a swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, not mercer in the ocean? I mean, they are now. <laughs> oh, remember the snorks? Why not? They float. Thank was, you. <laughs> yeah, smurfs float, guys. Why, they, wait, really? why do you know that? <laughs> you know, he's called a couple smurfs. <laughs> Gargamel. Gargamel, okay. Actually, Gargamel is kind of super creepy. He is. He's an old creepy dude who spent his entire life by himself hunting down little blue people. Gargamel has nothing to do with the ocean. I think I think Gargamel is just high out in the forest chasing little blue people. <laughs> They're shrooms! They are shrooms. shrooms! That's why he's trying to catch you! He's just addicted to mushrooms! <laughs> oh my gosh! Wait, what is his cat on? <laughs> his cat's just his loyal companion that follows him. I think his cat's just him. a cat. Because cats yeah. are evil little sh- well, <laughs> like can, well, okay, cats are, cats are pretty crazy. Like, um, I have a friend that taught her cat how to uh, play fetch with gum wrappers. So, gum I mean, wrappers? How do you even yeah, throw those? You, you ball them up and you throw them. Oh, and the, the cat ball. goes after them. And, and doesn't then, swallow it? And then chokes on it and dies. No, <laughs> it'll no. pick it up and bring it back to her. It's the weirdest thing ever. It's like so mine like plays any- that with mini frisbees. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen so many animals take on the attributes of a different animal, like a cat take on a dog or a dog take on a bird. It's weird. You've seen a dog, <laughs> seen seen a dog a fly? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, there was like a... Oh, wait, the dead dog in space. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why are we talking about dead animals? <laughs> but most dead animals are in the ocean because it's the biggest part of the world. And there's a lot of pollution in the ocean. Yes, and we kill all the animals. Yeah. So we're yeah. About to. And for those of you who want to know, the toxicity in the ocean is not due to waste or, you know, pollution or whatever. It's actually because that's the dumping place for most of Gabe's jokes. And it yeah. just poisons the entire ecosystem. Uh, well, so I if they don't go gonna... anywhere, this entire school would die due to my jokes. I thought we were going to talk about something else. <laughs> it's, I thought we were going to say that the toxicity of the ocean is actually a result of the salt of our haters and the uh, and the jokes of Gabe. So like a combination <laughs> kind of thing. Your boat. Okay. Why is there sense. so much salt in the ocean? Why is there so much Why hate is... for Gabe? I love you, Gabe. <laughs> I kind of guess I love you, too. Kind of guess? Well, kinda. there it is. There's the hate. Yeah, yeah there's, there's the hate. There's the salt that you were talking about. You know how salt's made? Right there. That was also a joke. So all of it's going straight <laughs> to the ocean. <laughs> uh, 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 is, is this going to be a roast episode? Just like roasted nuts, which have salt on them. Huh? <laughs> So what do you guys think is in the bottom? Have yeah, we well, talked about this before, we talking about this before on the podcast? No, the only bottom we talked about here before is yours. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> um, the Titanic. Rest. Titanic is very valid. Yes. Um, there's also there like was this... room for Jack. Room for Jack? There was room for Jack. Oh, oh, Titanic movie. Uh, yeah. What else? No, we're talking about not- the real events where Jack uh, died because oh, right. because Rose wouldn't boat. let him on the boat or on the door. door. <laughs> there was yeah, there was a lot of room on that. She uh, was just a but it would have sank. It would have been too much weight, right? <laughs> well, maybe factually, she was a lot bigger than she was in the movie. You know how Ooh, Hollywood right. models have to like <laughs> look a certain that way. way. Yeah, that is maybe that, that is true. That would be pretty valid. Well, I mean, the movie's not technically... Sure. Turns out it was just OP. It's real. It was a real recording of the... <laughs> yeah, whatever, the whenever the Titanic went off. Yeah, but yeah. the camera was very slimming. Yeah, yeah. they had drones. It was the AC remaster. <laughs> <laughs> they took the black and white and just recolored it, you know? Yeah. 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 You know, like yeah. they do in Hollywood. So All you guys think like a Pacific Rim kind of thing is at the bottom of the ocean? That would be dope. Oh, like, I just hope I die before the, you know, the kaiju started to come calling out. Cool. It's like... It's like... Cool. <laughs> what about Godzilla? <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> we talked about that... The last time we recorded Godzilla and all oh, those yeah. Titans or whatever. Speaking For good of, reason, we yeah. need to be prepared. Yeah, you're right. 
So how do you prepare against Godzilla? That's uh, at the have bottom you of the ocean. Rim? Giant robots. We cut our uh, throats so we can have gills. I hate to inform you, but that is not how anatomy works, my friend. How did fish get? Have you tried it yet? I exactly. have not tried it. Gabe, I got Maybe idea. the other guys will be unsuccessful. See if you evolve to get gills. <laughs> How long do I have to stay in there? You know, a few days. Okay. A couple billion years. So you start playing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Like the Smurfs. <laughs> oh, no, not the Smurfs. <laughs> Until you feel like you can do it while sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. You wouldn't have to blink anymore. Think about how much energy you would save not having to blink anymore. And fish don't sleep. So you wouldn't have do to sleep. F- I thought fish just no. They they go into like a like unconscious like mode, but their eyes are still Sigo open. Mode? <laughs> they can't wait. Sigo fish mode? Sigo mode? No, <laughs> <laughs> those are sharks <laughs> <laughs> and dolphins. And, yeah, well, no, yeah. dolphins go like. I know a different kind can of dolphins go mo bomba because they compete. <laughs> can someone please no. edit just like uh, the Jaws like theme mixed with the sicko mode? Like everyone in confusion. Oh my god! I feel like <laughs> dolphins are more like 1980s disco. Rather than sicko mode, sharks, yeah, well, sharks appeal for like disc. Nah, actually, sharks feel like rock, like '90s rock. Yeah, they are rock. I don't know. Yeah. The dolphins are pretty brutal if you think about yeah, it. Like, yeah, but like sharks dolphins can too. kill a shark. Yeah, but like imagine a dolphin with an afro that makes sense, and like a shark with like a mohawk also makes sense. But I don't. I can't see are anything you appropriating else. Appropriating these fish? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm no. I'm appropriating rock bands because they all look like sharks. Got them. <laughs> sharks are also kind of edgy. Yeah, so especially wait, wait. the hammerhead ones. What if sharks <laughs> have like bowl cuts? Like that's that's pretty edgy. I cannot imagine a shark with bowl cut. Well, just like a shark tank. No. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh boy. I don't fish. think anyone on there has a bowl cut, actually. I think the only fish that would have a bowl cut is like a school Maybe the fish. Maybe women. You know, like a generic fish are just in a school. So all of them just have bowl cuts. Ah. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Oh, bowl cuts. Like fish balls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you call white jokes bad. That was good. We laughed. Hey, puns that's I'm a just because I'm excited. That jokes. face over there. That beautiful, beautiful it, face. Yeah, yes. it is. You're right. Well, What's your best you got? Come up with a joke right now. Nautical. I can't do it. I need context Completely first. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Completely nautical. The, not, I, not, not nautical. Not nautical. 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 The ocean. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, oh, look at that. He has the just made of a fish. Boom, nautical uh, joke. Easy. Uh, uh, yeah, that was a nautical joke. Wait, <laughs> Amari, I hate... <laughs> I hate it. You guys are putting me on the spot. I hate to break it to you, though, but um, human attention span has fallen to the point where it's shorter than a goldfish what was in that? some cases. Uh, that's specifically blonde women. Exactly. So that, that was your joke. blonde women. Oh, wait, oh. sorry. That's a 2000s yeah, joke. We're not allowed to, be careful, to say that you anymore. You might get crucified. Yeah, mm. <laughs> by the the they republic because we can't say he or she anymore. <laughs> they. Well, guess what? He and she both said, "Forget that." That's ma'am to you. <laughs> <laughs> is <a> ma'am. <laughs> dude is a universal term. I agree. You do it is completely universal yeah. for the two thousands. Yeah. For everywhere, for every era. No, if I call you dude, you must yeah. accept it. My guests that are sitting behind me, you're all dudes. Yo, dude. I should not feel I don't feel Like I should Not be able to say dude If I want to call you a dude Let me just say dude Dude yeah. is my comfortable dude, speech yeah. dude, dude makes sense Why do, I, I don't know uh, I don't say dude Because if you talk to The older dude, generations you, friend, like, dude, dude. you don't go up to your mother And like, your grandmother And say hey dude Unless your yeah. grandmother Just oh actually I want to see no, that No I say hey make me a sandwich <laughs> No <laughs> <not>. <laughs> uh, Grayson it's 2019 man I'm just kidding Love you grandma Is black And I would certainly <laughs> Not get away with that <laughs> <laughs> Oh dude Oh dude Oh my god <laughs> I can only imagine It's just Oh, the bomb. <laughs> yeah, my booty cheeks would be destroyed. <laughs> For well, sure. Uh, okay. Because of the spanking. Yes, okay. <laughs> maybe ru- maybe the ruler. Mm. <laughs> Most likely the ruler. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. think grandma wears a belt? <laughs> she don't need a belt. She just got the first thing in sight. You know like how like I've heard from my Hispanic friends that their mothers and grandmothers can throw a chunk out like a sniper rifle. <laughs> Chonkles are dangerous <laughs> weapons. <laughs> Chonkles are very dangerous weapon. You got to beware of those. Ceramics a lot worse. It hurts a lot more. <laughs> so the, the, for I'm those you uncultured people chakra. out there, chonkles are flip flops, and they, they become, become weapons flip-flops. in the hands of <laughs> parents, specific parents, specific parents <laughs> that fit a certain demographic. Yes, I've heard somebody get like the plank on them. Like they have like a. 
I don't know. Like, they had a paddle bat. Paddle oh, ball yes. bat. Back in like when I was like kindergarten, first graders era, I went to my my the school my grandma taught at, and it was um the Christian school. It was called El Bethel Christian oh, Academy. No. And when you got in trouble, the dean <laughs> would get a paddle. Oh no! Yes, and I remember once my grandma got the paddle herself, and she made me pull my pants down, and she spanked oh, no. me with the paddle. You <laughs> wooden paddle. You guys don't even God know in your how bad it is. Okay. We went to we went to London a long time ago, and my dad was like checking out this cool shop on the side on the corner, and he's like, "That's a pretty cool cricket bat." He brought it home. We still have that cricket bat. No, that is the punishment no. bat. That's the punishment <laughs> bat. Dude, I once saw my mom hit my brother with a lamp. No, no like she was just trying to make him. She grabbed the first thing. It was the lamp. And she grabbed it. And she, <laughs> I, she was just trying to murder you. Yeah, positive. Hey, um, human. You learned that humans are pretty durable. <laughs> yeah, well, this, but some people die in one punch. Let me tell you, Gabe. That's that's a certain type of person. You've human. never taken a more frightening walk than when your mother or grandmother says, "Walk and go, walk across the street and go grab me a branch off that tree." <laughs> oh. Oh. You don't know, man. And you try to pick. See, here's the thing, though. You can't just pick a small one because a, if you pick a small one, you'll get one of two things: a, it will sting worse than a bigger one, <laughs> or b, she'll be like. If you bring me back a small one, I'll go out there and pick one myself. And oh. trust me, that's worse. <laughs> Especially if you make her get up from her stories. Let me mm. tell you. <laughs> Here's some bad ones. When when she tells you to sit down because you're in big trouble and she tells you not to move, but then she tells you to go get a branch. <laughs> She's like, you better not move, but you got to give me that branch. <laughs> now, what are you going to do there? <laughs> or when they're spanking you and they say, keep crying before I give you something to cry about. You already gave me something to cry about. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The Why do parents make so little sense sometimes? <laughs> really? Like, they yeah. tell you to do one thing and then they tell you to do a completely different thing it's, it's, at the same time. Children raising children, dude. <laughs> that's really odd. But I don't how do you classify somebody as an adult then? Like what is that? No one's an adult. Like we're all okay, from big child kids. to old. No, I got it. When the cries of agony an- annoy you, especially the ones that you're causing. <laughs> <laughs> She's just so detested with life. Oh, what an adult you are. <laughs> well, I think you're an adult once you get to the point where even if you do something stupid, as long as you say you did it because you want to and people just accept it, you're an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Drops something, it's like, that's my belief. Yeah, yep. <laughs> I didn't pay my taxes. That's my belief. <laughs> <laughs> that is illegal. That does not work. Or sorry. Trump. Hey, mom, if uh, you always complain about backing out, why do you park this way? Why not just turn your car around? Because I don't want to. <laughs> and you have to shut up. Because he's an adult. <laughs> yep. But Donnie, technically churches don't have to pay taxes, so. <laughs> yes, so, church. Church. so what you're saying is, Stir if I church. want to start a business with well, a taxless building, I call it a church. No, what happens is yeah. if you want to start a high school, you make it under a um, Catholic? Lower, a lesser known uh, religion. So you don't, have to, you don't have actual religious standards to follow. You just don't have to pay taxes as well. So you don't have to pay taxes. Sounds and, like a cult. Ouch. Um, yeah, so you start a cult. and um, <laughs> But you call it a religion. 10-step program. Yeah, it's our 10-step program. To, to ascend. Start. Yeah, to yeah. ascend. The only thing Wait, is... Do schools have to pay taxes? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but but, but some... Because of that... Certain they get taxes. state funding. Yeah. That's a big yeah. thing. But, well, private schools don't get ta- uh, don't get state funding. and yeah. But do private schools have to pay taxes? And that's why they have like yeah. tuitions, right? I yeah. Think we have anyone rich or white enough here to answer that question? That's true. I watch. Well, no, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think then I would if I were to make a private school, I would make it under a false religion, and it'd be a place of religious um, religious. Would you make a high school under holding. eggism? Yes, that's exactly my point. Eggism would be a great one to hold it under because then I don't have any actual standards. It's more of like a belief system and then I get school with no taxes it, you just yeah. to make a point out of alright so if you made a high school under eggism what would you call it um, uh, <laughs> mm, uh, see that's putting people on the spot that's I guess so but mean. hey you want, at the end of the day all you can say it'll be a shell of a place oh come on you make me crack up okay come I'm going on, back to the yoke. ocean now <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah we should go back to the ocean while I think of a joke about high schools and eggs <laughs> <laughs> all the scary things I had an idea like a scary thing I think I told you Grayson so uh, imagine if somebody looking out into the universe it's like look at all these galaxies these endless these huge things right and while they're looking, a giant meteor comes out of nowhere and knocks out a couple galaxies. It's like, <laughs> what are we? I you're just, just talking. You get Jupiter and you see it blow up. <laughs> it's like, oh, what is life? <laughs> oh, I got one. Okay, all right. Let's all right. So I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't allow any stupid students into my school because 
then it'd be over easy. Uh huh. Are you only allow <laughs> egg legends? <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> well, that wasn't quite excellent. <laughs> Those are repeated ones that you found on the internet. We gotta get better than this. Yeah, better than this. Excellent, excellent. is like from I don't know, like two thousand. Ninety ninety nine. Hold up, hold up. Let me get my joke out, and then I'ma let you speak. Stop. <laughs> oh, I didn't mm. <laughs> crack I'm your head open. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, Grayson, that was pretty hard boiled. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> from our guest here today. You know, I, I, off my guest, Aiden. <laughs> mm, hard boiled. Our sideliner. It's actually kind of hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Yeah, well, because so you're in here. I think, I, I think my, uh, my proteins are what's the word? Be careful, you might spill out like an over poached egg. Do over poached eggs spill out? No. Uh, not really. I think you have to, they're really soft, so if you poke them, then they flow out. I don't even eat eggs, so I don't know the, the I names. I hate eggs. Six minute boil, boys. Eggs aren't too bad. <laughs> they're, they're, they're they were good. fine before I had like my 150th omelette. 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 You're an elite. You can't say you're an elite. You're an elite. <laughs> <laughs> but you can be an elitist. Okay, back to the ocean. Guess, back to the ocean. Back to the ocean. That big shark that lives down there somewhere. That's wow, like prehistoric. Big. Danny DeVito. You mean the megalodon? <laughs> Danny DeVito. No, there's like the it's... megalodon. No, Danny yeah. DeVito. <laughs> Danny DeVito. <laughs> But, oh, what is it? What is it? The rainbow strip, I think? The thing that can make a bullet? Like, it has a... Uh, oh, where it can shoot something? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, it literally just, like, flicks the water and, like, you get shot. <laughs> yeah. What, it, yeah. It just kills things. Like, <laughs> Wait, this is the first time <laughs> like, I've ever heard of Yeah, it's this, like high-pressured right? air. Dude, yeah, he's like a yeah. deep-sea gunslinger. He just walks around the sea, like, pew, pew, and everything's I think, I think what it does is it shoots, like, it shoots, like, air, but that pressure inside the ocean makes it so that the, that thing is super concentrated. Yeah. And yeah. it's like a super concentrated uh, yeah. bubble. So, basically, when he shows up, it's like a mafia. Oh. It's called a mantis shrimp. Mantis, Mantis shrimp. shrimp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can they see like a crap ton of colors? Oh yeah, like like mm, six times the amount of us. I think they get to see the eighth color, octarine. <laughs> Does that mean they're looking to the eighth dimension? No, it just means they get to see the eighth color. We they don't see into the seventh color. dimension, do we? And we see seven colors. You know what I wish we could see? I wish we could see the. I wish we could see the fourth dimension so we could find Santa. A little self plug there. It's a Santa Claus episode. Yeah, you'd actually you have know. to be in the fifth or the fourth dimension to see the fifth dimension, so we could see Santa. But you're correct. Did you know that he doesn't actually use reindeer? He uses mantis shrimp. Because <laughs> like, oh my god, <laughs> that's how he takes out everyone who spots him. He uses the mantis shrimp to just one shot all the spectators. <laughs> oh, 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 little butt. <laughs> oh man, that got uh, <laughs> kind of dark. No, he shot him a gift. Kind of dark. Yeah. How else do you think Santa gets around? Nighttime. Duh. If he yeah. walks around in the daytime, everyone would just see him. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. So it would operation. See him. He could probably make an eclipse out of his body. <laughs> probably. <laughs> he can control darkness. <laughs> Santa. Santa's the moon. <laughs> See, I, have, I have slight control over darkness. Because when the lights go, I just activate my camouflage. Yeah. None of us have that. That sucks. It's like a passive ability. It's like a <laughs> passive, passive ability. Yeah, it's a passive racial stat. <laughs> I'm born with it. But what's our racial stat? Uh, well, then we're getting in. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if we should discuss that. <laughs> well, one of them is <laughs> the terrible history of our ancestors. Yeah. Yay. But that put us where we are now. So, eh? <laughs> I guess. Thumbs well, up. Well, you can have the middle class. class. A, part of you is, <laughs> a part of you is definitely now spread throughout history. Oh. The bad part. Uh, the white part. Oh, <laughs> why that one? There's so many other parts of Okay, me. back to the ocean. Back to the, <laughs> the ocean. ocean. Where all things come and die to. Oh, wait. It, what? Does that make grandma that makes sense? No. no. <laughs> come, come from and die in. I think talking about the ocean is literally slowly devolving you into a fish. David Asimov is going back Actually, to the no, ocean I'm... for Spongebob movie three. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I would just said they're certainly enjoy that. David Hasselhoff, we need you to make another Spongebob movie. Oh, he's such Ooh, a cutie. <laughs> so you... Is David is David De- uh, Hasselhoff? <laughs> is David dead Hasselhoff? <laughs> is he is he still around? I thought I heard something about him. Isn't he? Is I don't know. I don't know. He's in the sea. He's in, in the, the sea. sea. <laughs> David Hasselhoff, the Sea King. You know, he's like he's like the opposite of like Ariel. So he wanted to live where the fish are. <laughs> he to live. I want to be where the fishes are. He's like yeah, in an aquarium. <laughs> 
Or maybe it was like one of those things where it's like someone told him to go sleep with the fishes. He's it's like, like oh, quite well, maybe literally. I will. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like SpongeBob left me behind. Now, before we insult <laughs> David Hasselhoff any further, and before Gabe devolves into a fish, we actually uh, got to go ahead and get this wrapped up. Uh, <laughs> it was certainly fun talking about like the ocean today. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Keep it coming. It was certainly fun talking about, you know, the ocean today. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, we got to go back on land. So, yeah. I'm Coco Nuts about the ocean because they grow pretty close. That to was ocean. pretty good, actually. I, like <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't like you're lying to me. <laughs> anyway, have a good day, everybody. Adios. Uh, bye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>